This tutorial looks at how we can use trace fields to send trace data from PCD MIS and Quindos measurement programs. Including trace data with your measurements can make it easier to locate a specific part sample of interest in metrology reporting. For PCD MIS, the part name and serial number fields from the file header are sent automatically as trace data along with the measurement data when we run the measurement program. We can add any number of custom PCD MIS trace field commands in order to capture other useful trace information. This could be operator, lot number, or anything we might need. For Quindos, the serial number, article number, and customer fields from the start form are sent automatically. Once trace data is sent to metrology reporting, we can view this info from the trace tab, located within the measurement summary tab of the part details screen. Trace data also appears as gray text next to each sample. We can use the search box on the samples list to locate part samples that match a trace field value. For example, we can use this filter to find measurement data associated with a specific part serial number. Or we can locate all samples that were measured by a certain operator. We can also filter the samples by trace data if we use the trace search filter on the sample list. Note if we do this, that same samples filter is also applied to the samples shown on any trend charts that are embedded in the sample report and for any samples on the run history chart. For trend charts and for the run history chart of the part summary screen, we can see trace data in a tooltip when we move our mouse pointer over each sample. This helps us to more easily see useful information, sample by sample, whenever we need to diagnose problems.